so this tire I tell you are not so good I already realized that look at this beauty so this is the tallest part of the island. Look, look down there. Good morning, good morning, internet. Welcome back here to my channel. So, uh, we are in Kosamui. And we are here in uh, Pink South Samui. Uh, very, very nice family restaurant. The owner is an Englishman. He cooks. And uh, his wife, girlfriend is Thai girl. And uh, I can tell you that it's really, really, really very nice, very good. Uh, I suggest you to come. It's the best burger I have eaten in a long, long time. If not, always. Uh, let me show you the rest of the bit. It's, uh, it's very nice. Uh, I'm gonna put you the link on the meat, like always, so you know where it is. But let me show you the restaurant now. Okay, this is the restaurant. You can see. Very nice. Beautiful. It has a nice vibe. I like. It's a nice bar. Very nice. You can see. It's not big, but uh, the food is awesome. And that's the kitchen where everything happens. And look at this nice latte that I have this morning. This is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this is, look at this latte. Mm. Very good, you know that I cannot start the morning without latte. So we're gonna have a nice breakfast today and we're gonna go and we're gonna do nothing, exploring the island. Let's see what we see around, uh, the weather looks pretty okay, so we're really uh, lucky. Now let's eat, and let's enjoy this latte, and very shortly we're gonna leave and go. All right, okay, see you. So guys, look at this. This is my breakfast today. Uh, two pizzas of toast uh, with uh, avocado, smoked salmon on top looks very good uh, looks very healthy nice and healthy yeah? some lime to put on top of the salmon and the avocado so let's see how it is and let's try it okay, we will try this and let's see let's put a little bit of lime on top because that sounds really good and uh, The bread is really good. The avocado, you can feel them, it's nice, fresh. Let's take a nice pizza. Uh, salmon now. Mm. It's very good. It is very good. Delicious. Mm. What a way to start the morning, eh? A nice latte. Toast with fresh avocado and salmon. Just wonderful.
for that, okay guys, I'm gonna finish eating and then we're gonna go and enjoy the day. Okay, I'll see you in my ride. Bye. Looks very beautiful. Let's see if we can fly the drone here and see a little bit here what we see with the drone. This is just beautiful. I like it. And it was coming from uh, somewhere there, some kind of road. Kind of funny maybe to see. So all this light here, I realize, are uh, solar panels. Because I guess there's no electricity passing by here. Uh, I don't see no post here. And so all this light, this public light, is all made with uh, solar panel. Each post has has a solar panel, very nice, very nice. Mm. Yeah. Oh, look at this. I don't know if you can see in the camera, but this is a, a big hill. You know, and I heard a, a kind of noise in this that is like kind of strange. When it goes up, very much up in the hill. 
So this is an add-on, unfortunately. I didn't know at the moment of travel, but next week we're going to have to go back to Wahim and bring the bike to Honda dealership. Um, we're gonna be, it's going to be impossible to drive more than bike for the noise that is making. And uh, uh, it's going to put us out of uh, season one. Pretty much we're going to end season one here. Uh, I will let you know and I will post you to know what is wrong with the bike and how Honda is fixing the problem and what Honda say at the end of the day. Let's go see. This tire, I tell you, are not so good. 90 garden chilling waterfall. Three garden chilling hill bar. Right, okay, and here we are trying to get out. Uh, so, the tires that come with the bike are not the best for off road. Uh, we're gonna pass here, uh, here. Let's try to go here. Okay. Oh. oh, this is beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Here. Oh yes. But the question is, where is the temple? To go to the temple. So the GPS here, actually Kalimoto is telling me that this is the way, but uh, he did not see that little rod, so, but feels like is going that way
That means you are on the right way, right? Oh, this road is crazy. And uh, it's going good. So I will say that. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay, so here is the Buddha. There's a place. We come all the way here to actually see this. And the rock was very good. I actually liked them. is supposedly the tallest place in the island that's the pagoda Look at the beautiful view we have over here. So we can go on there too. And there is that but look at the beautiful view that we have from here. And here we can see the big statue of Buddha. Beautiful is down there. I don't know if you can see it with the camera. It's just beautiful. No, no, it's okay. Okay. And here, we are here. And this other part. And let's see here. Oh, there is the sleeping Buddha. And okay, let's let's look one at a time here because so we have this here. This is really beautiful. If you come to Kosamu, you should come here because it is really nice here. The view is beautiful. It's just in the mountain. It is just beautiful, wonderful. And uh, so here we have the sleeping Buddha. And here, let's go look at this. This is like the child Buddha. I don't know. I'm just saying. Uh, It feels more like it feels more like a Chinese temple almost, because I have seen this with the dragon in many Chinese temples. Uh, but nothing is in English here. Uh, yeah, I don't understand this. Look how beautiful is this.
Look, this is where we was before, look there. That's the giant Buddha. And look at this. I don't know clearly what is this. If anyone knows, can say, comment underneath. It's it doesn't feel broke, so but don't know what is really. And this we already saw from there, the sleeping Buddha. All right, okay, let's go. Let's see. Let's see where it's going. Let's see where it's going here. I think we maybe can have something to drink here. That's our sign. When it rains, I think this is going to be a big problem. That is completely different. When it rains here, you can see all the, the fans that are made in the land. Where is the restaurant? Here. You guys look mountain jungle restaurant. Look at this beauty. So this is the tallest part of the island. Look look down there. Look down there. It's just gorgeous what we can see here. This is just beautiful what you can see here. You have a beautiful view. You have a pool too if you want. Look at this view. Looks like it wants to rain. So I would say let's go. It's getting cloudy. So you see it's getting very cloudy. I think it's gonna come to rain very soon, Bl very black down there. So. so, hello, hello. So we just come back from our ride today. Uh, just took a shower. Um, today really was a wonderful ride. Uh, I mean, we just enjoyed the maximum. Um, we had uh, mountain, forest, and uh, off-road. Um, tomorrow morning we would leave, uh, so really we can no more do nothing, but uh, uh, we did all what we could do, really. Uh, so a few things that I would like to say uh, about today and about the bike, really. Number one, uh, in the mountain, I don't know if you can see with the GoPro camera, the hills that we just went some hills that was really steep hills uh, and really down too and uh, the bike did perfectly fine did his job to the perfection um, 
at sometimes maybe I would have liked to have a little bit more power, let's say. Um, I did not have the, my top panieri, uh, so I was very light. I had, I had only the two side panieri and not full completely either. Uh, only uh, emergency kit was there in. Uh, emergency kit for me and emergency kit for the bike, uh, you know, tools to fix if something happens in the mountain. Uh, but uh, I can tell you, yes, I felt sometimes that, uh, you know, a little bit of horsepower more will be nice, okay? So I want to put you that there. Uh, it's perfectly fine, it does his job. It doesn't to the perfection, so it's nothing to say about that. But yes, at some point, sometimes you would like, like, can I have a little bit more power? Can I have a little bit more? <laughs> um, but uh, okay, we know it's a, uh, it's a CB500X, so we, we know what we have, so we can really not talk too much more about that. Um, the brake was fantastic, everything is fantastic. Uh, the rod was really bad, if you saw them. Uh, the tarmac was just all broken with holes everywhere and it was really crazy. Off-road. Off-road, uh, yes, um, I have to say that off-road, uh, the only thing really that I can do at this point and the only thing that I will do is change the tire. The, 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 the standard tire that come with uh, the 500X are good for street, but not are good for off-road. Off-road you feel sliding and uh, even when you are on the tarmac every time, uh, because we was in the mountain, so you had a lot of sand on top the, uh, and places where I had gravel on top of the tarmac, the, 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 the bike was sliding all over. So yes, the tire are not good. Not good for if you want to do off-road. And uh, that, this was good actually, and uh, I'm gonna do some off-road in uh, Wahin actually too. Uh, or some other places that we're gonna go if I find. Uh, I want to do more off-road. But uh, um, it's good that we did this and we discover and we know about this because uh, how everybody knows, uh, we. I'm getting ready for the big trip in uh, October, November and December uh, that's going to be in uh, uh, Northern Thailand and uh, Laos and Cambodia. And Laos has lots of off-road, lots of lots of off-road, it's just full everywhere where we're going to go in the mountains. So uh, happy that's why we go there because we want actually to be like that that is the perfection but yeah uh, i know some rod that they are already fixing and putting tarmac and everything but but the majority still of uh, the mountain rods are completely just off-road no no tarmac so no 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 asphalt all right okay let me go have dinner now i uh, see you tomorrow and i'll ride uh, back to uh, from uh, koh samui bye